this could be the end of Google. ChatGPT has just launched two new incredible features. Feature one is the web search. This means you can now search on ChatGPT just like you would on Google. And the second feature is the ChatGPT extension, where you would simply install the ChatGPT extension, head over to, let's say, Google, start typing in the search bar, and instead of it showing the results in Google, it will open up ChatGPT and show the results. This is huge and can potentially be the downfall for Google. I'm going to show you how to use both of these things, but before you do, if you could tap the like button letting me know you want to see more of this content, that would be hugely appreciated. Let's jump over to my screen and see how it all works. I'll work with you every day to help create viral videos using my personal 90 second vid system. By the end of working together, you'll be able to confidently pick up your phone and have a video recorded, edited and posted within 90 seconds, which will average 1000 plus views and generate you a minimum of one to three leads per day. I'll then show you how to convert those leads into at least one new customer per week. Are you ready to work together? Click the link in the description for more information. Here we are inside ChatGPT. In order to get started, typically you would need to go into one of these models, but you don't need to do that today. In the search bar, which is four plus users at the moment, you'll see the search web icon. If you tap that, this will now give you live results into live search. So if you want to see what the news is in the UK today, you would simply type the question. And now it's searching all of the live news platforms and giving all of this information. Let's say you want more information about public health. You can say, give me the top stories on public health today. Today's date was is November 1st, so it understands that I want news sources from today, and now it's showing all of these different news sources, and it also references where it's getting them from. Now, this is so handy because you can say something the lines of, I don't understand, number one listed, can you explain the core points? What I basically said is I don't understand this one, so I'm asking it to give me the core points of it, which is absolutely crazy. But if you're a marketer or someone looking to utilize this for your own good, you can actually say, based on article one, create a Q&A blog with relevant SEO titles. And just like that, we've now got a blog which talks about all of this. We can even say, now add hyperlinks backing up each claim. And then it's given us each of these URLs that we can add as a backlink. Pretty nifty. Now let's move on to the second new feature, which is the extension. So in order to get that extension, head over to your profile icon and then click get ChatGPT search extension. It'll open it up in this little lightweight extension page and all you need to do is click add to Chrome. That's now been installed and you can change these settings or pin it to your bar just by this navigation here. Now, you might be wondering, how do I use this? Well, if you open up a separate tab, you'll notice that there's a few things different here. Number one, they've kind of taken away all the Google branding and what's not, but let's go ahead and just see what the weather is today. What is the weather today? The drop down of when you're asking it something, we'll say chat GPT search. We'll go ahead and do enter, and now it's opening up a chat GPT tab, and it's giving us that information. Pretty cool. And then you will just typically continue your search in ChatGPT. But we can also just go back here and say, what is a trending topic today? And once again, open up ChatGPT again, and now it's telling us all of the trending topics for today. I'm curious what you think about this new ChatGPT development with the live search. Do you think Google is going to struggle or do you think they're gonna pull something out of their hat? Do you think this can even compete with Google right now? Currently, I don't think the interface of ChatGPT in terms of live search is good enough yet or is fast enough to compete with Google, but there's always time for improvement. Leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.